Artastic and in this video art tutorial, we're going to be creating this lovely Wayne thigh boat inspired artwork that uses uh, wax crayons or something to color with, like pencil crayon or colored pencils or wax crayons, and some paints, either watercolor paints or temper paint cakes, just one color only, to create this lovely artwork that explores both the style of artist Wayne thigh boat, but also the element of our value. And we're gonna be learning how to use um, and create value either using our pencil crayons or wax crayons. I've used wax crayons here. So we're gonna be creating different values with our choice art medium. And we're also gonna be creating values with our paints. We're gonna use two different mediums, but we're gonna learn how to make values with both. So grab those art making mediums and join me as we explore both wing thigh boat and the element of art value. Let's make some art. So in this tutorial, we're going to be using some either felt markers or our wax crayons or a bit of both. And we're going to be creating a Wayne Thibault inspired artwork that explores value at the same time. So we're going to be exploring some value. We're going to be using our either our wax crayons or you can use pencil crayons or felt markers, whatever you have, something to draw with for our ice cream cone that's a little bit upside down. But we're also going to need some watercolor paint or temper paint cakes, some, whatever you have available. We're going to use those to create um, the background and we're going to be creating value with it. So we're going to need our water and we're going to need our paint and a paintbrush and we're going to be artists that are in control of the medium and we're going to dilute it or use concentrated versions of that paint whatever paint choice you use for your um, background it's up to you whatever color you want you choose what makes you happy it doesn't matter which color but we each need to pick one color okay and we're going to use that to create value so we're going to be in control of our mediums today as we explore a Wayne thigh boat inspired um ice cream but we're also gonna add our own artist flavor in the background and explore some value. So here we go. We're gonna start off with our lovely ice cream. So we're gonna grab something to draw with, a nice maybe a marker, you could do a pencil crayon, you could do wax crayon, whatever you want, it's up to you. But we're gonna draw some ice cream just now. Here we go. We're gonna begin with the cone. So we're gonna draw a dot at the top and we're gonna make two diagonal lines down um, for our ice cream. So here we go. Our cone is gonna, so our ice cream is gonna be completely upside down. So we gotta make a cone first. We're gonna draw one diagonal line down and a second diagonal line down. We're gonna connect that with a curving line at the bottom. So we're just gonna do a nice curving whoosh, line just like that at the bottom. So cute. Okay. We're gonna add that nice waffle cone texture with some more curving lines but these are gonna be on a diagonal as well. So we're gonna have one diagonal line set, go across, a little bit of curve on them, okay? And then we're gonna go the other way. Now I just made a little bit of a mistake like that, so I'm just gonna take my line and I'm gonna thicken it up. So anytime we have a little mistake, we just gotta be creative and think about how we can fix it. No big deal, right? Okay, then I'm gonna continue. Right across, all the way up. Okay, so we got a nice ice cream cone, upside down ice cream, right? We're gonna draw the bottom now. So we're gonna go from the bottom up now. So we're gonna have the ice cream. So if we imagine we took an ice cream cone and we whoosh, smashed it upside down, the ice cream would kind of fluff up or smush along the bottom. So we're gonna create that texture. So we're gonna do some wavy lines along the bottom, up and over, and wave them, curve them up and complete it along the top, kind of like a cloud. All right, we're gonna draw a curved line from the, each corner of the cone down to the bottom smushy part. So we're gonna draw a dot on either side of the cone so we know where we're gonna start. And we're gonna imagine a line comes down and we're gonna put a dot right below on that smushy part. Whoosh, right below. But we're gonna be connecting it with a curving line on either side because if we think about it when we scoop out ice cream it kind of comes out on us in a circle right a sphere right so we got to make sure we have a curving line because ice cream when we scoop it is a sphere which is a shape all right here we go curving line curving line for some ice cream 
I'm even gonna add a couple little more curves here to blend it nicely like that. You can see the curves and smushes on the other side that way. Beautiful. All right, so we gotta give our ice cream a lovely little face. So we're gonna make it super cute as though it came right out of a bakery. Nice little circle for a nice little red nose. And in that circle, we're gonna draw a nice little curving rectangle or curving triangle for a nice little shiny spot. And that's gonna stay white and it's gonna make it look nice and shiny. On either side, we're gonna draw an oval for the eyes. We're also gonna add a little shiny spot in there. So I'm just gonna draw a little L on each side, the letter L, capital letter L on each side where that was gonna stay nice and white. And now we can go ahead and color in the dark of the eyes, leaving just those circles nice and white. Beautiful. We got some nice Wayne thigh boat ice cream happening here. Okay, we gotta put away this drawing medium. And I'm gonna grab my wax crayons to color in my lovely ice cream with. So we're gonna be doing some value. So we're gonna need first a cone color. So I'm gonna find a nice brown for my cone color. There's an old crayon for you. That's a nice old one from when I was a kid. Here's what they look like now. Okay. Um, I'm also going to need, hmm, an ice cream shadow color. So I'm gonna grab a nice blue to make the shadows on my ice cream. I'm gonna need a nose color, so I'm gonna grab a nose, a red for the nose. And I think that's about it. We're gonna just use those three colors. So cone color, you're gonna need a cone color, an ice cream shadow color, so blue, and something for the nose. So here we go. I'm gonna take my cone color first, and we're gonna press firmly for one side for the darkest part. In the middle, we're gonna color lightly, and then we're gonna color very light on one side for a light value. So we're gonna take our mark, our crayon, sorry, or you can use pencil crayon, whatever you want. And we're gonna draw one line down and then a second, and that's just going to separate our three different value strips. So value, the element of our value. Value is the lightness and darkness of a color. So we're gonna go from dark to light, and this just being a bit of light, yeah, medium color in the middle. And we're gonna do that on the same on the ice cream and everything else. And then we're gonna create a nice value in the background, but using a different medium. All right, so on one side, on the darkest side, so my darkest side's on the left side, lightest side's on the right. And we're gonna press firmly with either your pencil crayon or your wax crayons, whatever you're using to color with. And that's going to make a nice dark value. So because I'm pressing firmly with this wax crayon, it's going to make the most uh, dark color of it, and then it's gonna be its true hue. Now we're gonna be in control of our mediums. So we're gonna be artists in control, and we're gonna control it, but we're going to now press lighter. So we wanna make a nice medium color. So we wanna press a little bit lighter as we color in this middle strip, a little bit lighter, pressing not as hard. We're gonna press a little bit lighter to create this middle colored section. A little bit lighter, just like that. A little bit lighter. Okay, so it should look different, right? A little bit lighter. Now we're gonna press even more gentle, right? Lightly, lightly to make a light value. And we should have three distinct values on this cone. And you can see how that line that we drew has completely disappeared. So we're using one crayon, but because we're in control of our mediums, look at the different kinds of color we can create, and that's called value. Okay, a nice lighter value. So we have three distinct values. And that means that the light source is hitting this side and the shadow's on the opposite side over here. Okay, so I'm gonna put my cone color away. I have two more colors left. Okay, I'm gonna use my red. I'm gonna color in my nose, but I'm gonna color in dark, a little bit lighter, and light, just like that, to make a nice value on the nose, and that's it. Okay, ice cream shadows, here we go. I'm gonna take my blue, and I'm gonna press firmly along the edge, just a little bit, right, because it's a white ice cream, so vanilla flavored. And then we're gonna go a little bit lighter, and then light, and we're gonna take that light and we're gonna go right across and a little bit light on this side. That's it, we don't need too much. 
We're also going to shade around this piece of candy that's been used to make the, or maybe it's icing, around the eye, around the other eye, and around the nose, where this is casting a nice little shadow there. Okay, we're gonna take our blue, we're gonna color in a nice dark value for the ice cream fluff or smush that's in the back there. And then we're gonna do the same thing along here that we did here. We start off with our dark value, pressing firmly, then a bit lighter. And then we're gonna take that very, very light value. We're just gonna go nice and gently along the bottom, all the way to the other side, just like that. Isn't that lovely? Okay, we're also gonna make a nice dark value right below. I'm just coloring nice and dark right below the ice cream so we know it's sitting on a surface and not floating in air. Just like that. Okay, and you can even extend it a little bit farther by pressing a little bit light around it so we have different kinds of values on the surface as well. And how beautiful is that? That's just wax crayon only, isn't it? But we can create so much more when we're in control of our mediums. All right, we're gonna be good artists and we're gonna tidy up the mediums we have out. So we're gonna put away our felt markers, our wax crayons, our pencil crayons, our colored pencils, whatever you have out. Put that all away and we're gonna switch and trade and get out either our watercolor paints or our temper paint cakes. Here we go. Okay, so once you have out your paint set and you have your water, we're gonna take our paintbrush, we're gonna just dip our brush in our water, okay? And you're gonna pick one color that you're going to use for your background, any one color. But you gotta stick with that one color. So I'm gonna use green in mine, but we have to stay with that one color. Now we're gonna swirl, swirl, swirl on the paint just a few times. And now we're gonna make some circles. So we're gonna have one loop, go around. We're just gonna sketch out where we're gonna have our different value strips, kind of like what we did on the cone here. So one value strip is gonna go around, and it could be dashed lines or straight lines. It doesn't really matter. We're gonna fill it in with paint. Okay, one value strip, two, and that's it. So we have a dark, medium, light, and that's what we're gonna do. We just need two lines just to place and imagine where our values are gonna go. It's just gonna help us be in a little bit more control. So swirl, swirl, swirl. We're gonna make our darkest value. So we want more paint and less water. And we're gonna go along the edge and we're gonna put our darkest value of paint in the outer ring. Our darkest value is gonna go out in that outer ring. Okay, so we're gonna paint a nice ring up. Okay, when your brush gets dry, you dip it back in that water. Okay, swirl, 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 nice and gently on the paint. Three times, be gentle artists. We're not scrubbing the paint, and we're not scrubbing the paper. Darkest value all on the top. And just like when we did it with the wax crayon, those lines that we drew are starting just to disappear, aren't they? Now we're gonna make a lighter value. So we are gonna do the medium value. So we're gonna need more water and less paint this time. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take our brush, we're gonna add just a little bit of water right in that medium strip, just so it's a little bit more watery when we go to add it. Okay, just in the medium strip. And here we go. So we're gonna swirl in the paint just two times and we're gonna paint on top, okay? And it gets a little bit dry, dip your brush in the water. Two swirls only and paint. And we're just gonna move that pigment or that paint around. Paint her nicely around our cone here. 
And don't worry if your colors start blending. So what you're gonna notice is along the edges, this dark color is gonna go whoosh, right down into that middle one. And that's okay, it's gonna help blend the transition. So it'll be a nice smooth transition from dark to medium to light. Okay, two swirls only. Now if it's too dark, we just pull it around that water that we have already on that middle strip. And that's just gonna keep it nice and a lighter value, right? We want it to be distinct values from dark to a medium choice color. Okay, Whoosh, right down along the bottom here. And you'll notice because I use wax crayon, that's going to resist the paint, so I'm not gonna lose that shadow. It's gonna look nice and lovely like that. Okay, so I got that done. And now I gotta do my lightest value. So I'm gonna do the same thing where I'm gonna add water first, which is water only. We're gonna add water only to that middle ring. I'm oh, sorry, that inner ring, the third ring. And now we're gonna do one swirl only on our paint. And we're just gonna add some dots. Um, that's it. I don't wanna put too much. I want it to be nice and light. So I'm gonna get water only again, water only again. And we're just gonna move it around so it's nice and light in there. Nice and light. And if it's too dark, all you gotta do is take a little bit of tissue paper and dab it. And that will make it. So if I'm, no, oh, look at that. See, if it's too dark, you're just gonna take a little bit of tissue paper or a towel and we're just gonna dab it up. Okay, here we go. I'll show you. Tissue paper, Kleenex, paper towel, whatever you have. Dab, dab, dab. That's gonna make a nice light value in the middle, isn't it? See, you can always work around anything as artists. Artists are amazing problem solvers. All right, and once you're done creating all your lovely values, your lovely Wayne Thiebaud element of art value, artwork is done. Hi there, I'm Kathleen McGivern and I'm Ms. Artastic and I have come up with a teacher challenge where I challenge you to create art with kids and through this I'm going to teach you how to create this art project and I'm going to give you all the art teacher resources to accompany this art lesson including the lesson plans, the assessment rubric and all the student handouts. Um, so make sure that you click the link in this video description and join me for this free tutorial. It is a three part challenge where I'm gonna teach you how to teach art to kids. So come and join me, it's a free, free video art lesson and you already have these art mediums in your house so don't even worry. We're going to be learning how to create this gecko art lesson that explores using line in your background. So grab your art making mediums, click the link and let's make some art.